Tom and Eileen Lonergan were a couple from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who vanished during a scuba diving trip in the Great Barrier Reef in January of 1998. Their disappearance sparked a massive search operation that lasted for several days but ultimately failed to find any trace of the missing couple. Due to the pair never being found, many theories have been presented, but despite extensive searches and investigations, none of them have been confirmed or proven. There is a lot to cover in this one, so without further rambling, let's get into it. This is the infamous disappearance of Tom and Eileen Lonergan. Tom and Eileen Lonergan were a married couple who resided in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They both grew up in Baton Rouge and met while attending Louisiana State University, where they both graduated. After their marriage, Tom and Eileen continued to pursue their love of travel and exploration. They had taken diving trips all over the world, including destinations such as Mexico, Hawaii, and the Caribbean. They were described as an adventurous and outgoing couple who loved to meet new people and try new things. Tom and Eileen didn't have kids, but were close to their families. They kept in touch whilst traveling and were described as being kind, gentle souls who loved nature and had a positive outlook on life. Prior to this infamous trip, the couple had been in Fiji for two years, where they had been serving in the Peace Corps. The Peace Corps is a federal agency that sends American volunteers to countries around the world to promote cultural exchange, development and understanding. Once finished in Fiji, they were flying home but had one stop to make first. This was in Australia, as they were planning to dive the Great Barrier Reef, a dive which had been their dream for years. On January the 25th, 1998, Tom and Eileen set out on a diving trip to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. They had booked a trip with the Outer Edge Dive Company, which specialized in scuba diving tours on the reef. The boat was commanded by Jeffrey Jack Nairn, and the couple were excited for their once in a lifetime dive. The Outer Edge Dive Company sailed 37 miles out to sea where the dive began. There were 26 passengers in total. The couple began their dive and they were spotted 12 meters under the water having the time of their lives. However, when they emerged an hour later, they had been abandoned. The boat was gone, it had left without them and they were stranded in shark infested waters in the middle of the ocean. Presumably, Tom and Eileen frantically swam and searched for the Outer Edge dive boat, but it was nowhere in sight. The boat was returning to Port Douglas without the couple, and they were never seen again. The exact circumstance of how Tom and Eileen Lonergan were left behind by the Outer Edge dive company is not entirely clear. However, it is believed that a series of miscommunication and error led to their tragic fate. According to reports, the couple had signaled to Jack Nairn that they were finished with their dive and were returning to the surface. Jack reportedly acknowledged their signal, but it's unclear if he actually saw them resurface. It is believed Jack, who was responsible for keeping track of all divers on the trip, failed to do a proper head count before departing the dive site. He may have assumed that the Lonergans had gone to sleep or were somewhere on the boat and failed to account for their absence. When the boat returned to the port, they didn't even realize the Lonergans were missing until two days later, which launched a search effort but by then, it was too late. According to reports, two days later, Jack Nairn discovered the Lonergan's dive bag with their wallet and papers. It's unclear exactly how this discovery was made, but it's believed that Nairn may have realized that the couple was missing when he saw their dive gear still on the boat after returning to port. He then contacted the police. A massive search and rescue operation was launched. The search involved several vessels, helicopters and planes, and it covered an area of approximately 1,000 square nautical miles around St. Crispin's Reef in the Great Barrier Reef. The search lasted for four days, but no sign of the missing couple was found. The search was hampered by rough seas, poor visibility, and the remote location of the dive site. Despite these challenges, search teams remained hopeful that the couple could still be found alive. After four days of searching, the official search and rescue operation was called off, and the Lonergans were presumed dead. However, private search efforts continued for several weeks, with local fishermen and volunteers searching the waters and shorelines for any sign of the missing couple. A week after the couple was reported missing, another dive bag was found washed up on an island near the dive site. The discovery of this confirmed that the Lonergans had disappeared during the dive, and it was presumed that they had drowned 
and no trace of the missing couple was found until a few months later. A dive slate was found several months after the couple disappeared. A dive slate is a small waterproof writing tablet that scuba divers use to communicate with each other underwater. On the slate was a message written by Eileen Lonergan. It read, To anyone who can help us, we have been abandoned on Agin Reef by MV Outer Edge, 25th of Jan, 98 at 3pm. Please help us come to rescue us before we die. Help. Along with this discovery was a wetsuit in Eileen's size. Remarkably, there was no blood found on the wetsuit, which suggests that the couple wasn't attacked by sharks. Alongside the wetsuit were inflatable dive jackets with the couple's names on them, Eileen's fin, and their compressed air tanks. These items were found approximately 75 miles away from where the couple had gone missing. Sadly, over two decades later, Tom and Eileen still haven't been found. The disappearance of Tom and Eileen has spawned a number of theories over the years, with one of the more interesting ones being that they faked their own death. There are some people who believe that Tom and Eileen may have faked their own death and disappeared intentionally. Supporters of this theory point to the couple's apparent financial troubles and speculate that they may have staged their disappearance to collect on an insurance policy. However, there is no concrete evidence to support this theory and it is widely regarded as unlikely. Another far out theory is that they were victims of foul play. Some have suggested that they may have been murdered by a crew member or another diver on the trip, but again, there is no evidence to support this. It is also possible that they may have been attacked by a shark or another marine predator, although again, this is considered unlikely, especially as there was no evidence of this found in their washed up clothes. The most likely scenario is the following. When Tom and Eileen were left behind, they were stranded on the reef with no means of communication or survival gear. With no other boats in sight, the couple was forced to rely on their diving equipment and the hope that they would be rescued. It is believed that they may have attempted to swim to the surface or a nearby reef, but ultimately succumbed to exhaustion, dehydration or hypothermia. They probably survived for around one to three days maximum. Their bodies were never recovered, leaving their families and loved ones to grieve and seek answers for their tragic, preventable loss. In the aftermath of Tom and Eileen's disappearance, legal action was taken against the Outer Edge Dive Company for negligence. The incident led to new safety regulations for dive boats in Australia, highlighting the importance of proper safety measures and adequate training for staff. Jack Nairn, who was in charge that day, was charged with manslaughter due to negligence. However, these charges were ultimately dropped due to lack of evidence. The dive company was fined 45,000 Australian dollars, but no individuals were ever arrested in connection with the disappearance. The Lonergan's heartbreaking story is a reminder of the dangers of the ocean. While their loss cannot be undone, their legacy lives on through the safety measures that have been put in place to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. As always, let me know what you think about this below, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.